In the central section, directly facing the Nightmare Before Christmas puppets, you'll find yet another non-cinematic phase of Tim Burton's career. As with the Polaroid series, they offer further elaborations of Burton's key themes and visual motifs in other mediums. Here is MoMA curatorial assistant Jenny He and assistant curator Ron Magliosi to comment on this rich vein of Burton's work. The Melancholy Death of Oysterboard and Other Stories is a book that Tim published in 1997. It was a book of verse and illustrations that had characters such as, of course, Oyster Boy, Stain Boy, and The Girl Who Stares. In 2000, Tim used some of these characters and created a six-episode web series called The World of Stain Boy in 2000. This was pretty groundbreaking because this was unique content produced specifically for the internet. And these characters evolved and became the tragic toys for girls and boys in 2003, which is a series of collectible toys produced by Gentle Giant Studios. For the exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in 2009, Tim again used these characters and created new sculptures such as Robot Boy, an animatronic, the Stain Boy diorama, which is a multimedia installation, as well as Balloon Boy, which you saw in the lobby. Balloon Boy is an amalgamation of a lot of the characters that appear in the Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Other Stories universe. So you see a little bit of the girl who stares, Toxic Boy, certainly Jimmy, the hideous Penguin Boy. One of my favorite Burton pieces is Blue Girl with Wine Bottle, a painting he did in the 90s, and is one of the most memorable pop surrealist pieces in the exhibition. Her heavily stitched body gives her a family resemblance to Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, the character who is always uh, on the verge of falling to pieces. 